actor Vijay who's unfurling uh, and unveiling uh, the flag for his party. Do remember a party that he had launched back in February earlier this year. He will be contesting in the assembly elections which will be taking place in Tamil Nadu in 2026. So the, one of the highest paid actors, a very popular Tamil actor Vijay there, uh, unveiling and unfurling the flag of his political party, the TVK. Uh, this is going to be a prelude to his formal launch at a massive rally that's being planned in the last week of September. So the actor who launched his party, uh, the TVK, in February this year as a party against corruption. Uh, which is set to contest the elections, the assembly elections, which will be coming up uh, in 2026 in Tamil Nadu. So those are live visuals on your screen of the actor there uh, reaching uh, uh, the venue. Uh, these are the, this is where he will be un uh, unveiling and unfurling uh, the uh, flag of his party, the TVK. And also the party song is expected to be launched there. So uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, the actor who's gone on to say that he has gone ahead and formed this party, which was formed back in February of this year. But since then, no, nothing has been said or done. But now, finally, uh, he has, uh, he is going to be unveiling uh, the flag of his party, the TVK. Uh, to get more on this, we have Sam joining us from right at that venue. Uh, Sam, uh, take us to the details of uh, this party, which was formed in order to fight uh, corruption in order to fight uh, divisiveness is what was uh, said by the actor uh, and uh, now uh, minister now is when he will be unveiling the flag that's right divya we come to you from the tvk party's headquarters along the east coast road in chennai as we speak now actor vijay has arrived we understand he would first introduce the party's flag and the anthem before he would uh, hoist the flag and uh, the formal announcement for his political launch came before the recent Lok Sabha elections. Vijay's team said he would uh, make his political plunge ahead of the 2026 assembly polls in Tamil Nadu. And he says the party will fight the issues of corruption, divisive politics, and also giving clean governance as they call it. And, uh, Vijay has been nurturing political ambitions for a long time, and he has he and his team members have been reaching out to voters in many different ways. Over the last two years, Vijay's team, uh, Vijay has been honoring first-time voters, the toppers in Class 12 exams chosen constituency-wise, honoring the toppers, their parents, and also giving them cash awards. Besides this, uh, his team also has been building houses for the poor, establishing libraries for communities across Tamil Nadu and also helping them who require legal help through their legal wing. And uh, actors entering politics in Tamil Nadu and becoming successful chief ministers is not something new for Tamil Nadu Divya. In fact, uh, Anna Durai and Karnanadi, script writers and theatre personalities have become very successful chief ministers in the state. Later stars like M.G. Ramachandran and Jainalitha also have become chief ministers and have been for several terms like that. But over the last two decades, Tamil Nadu has not been giving a thumbs up for stars entering politics, be it Subhaji Ganeshan, be it uh, Vijayagant, be it Superstar Rajinikanth who ultimately opted out, or be it Kamal Hassan who is able to make a significant splash in the political arena. But fans of actor Vijay say, in his case, he's making his political plunge at the peak of his career, not like his predecessors who chose to come at the retirement age. And they say, in that sense, people would give him a strong mandate. He's very promising, and they hope that in the assembly elections, he would win very soon. And they're very confident that they'll be able to capture power. Uh, irrespective of that, uh, if he enters politics, it's going to be a fascinating five-cornered contest in Tamil Nadu, besides the two Dravidian arch rivals, the ruling DMK and the AIADMK, the BJP is also uh, fighting alone. And then you have two other parties, including the Nam Tamilar Kachu by Director Siman, who have been fighting elections for quite some time uh, individually. So, in that sense, it will be a fascinating contest. Already uh, expecting this, the ruling DMK has fielded uh, actor turned politician Udayanidhi Stalin, Chief Minister MK Stalin's son, to take on the popularity of Vijay. But the Vijay will be able to really work magic when to capture the Chief Minister's chair. How would he really take some time? That's something we'll have to wait and watch. But his fans are extremely confident. And right now, any moment now, he will address introducing the flag, introducing the anthem. 
Vijay is seated on the first row here. Behind him, a little away, are his parents. And, uh, any moment now, he would go to the stage and introduce the parties. They are going to take a pledge now. Vijay will administer that pledge to his uh, district secretaries and they are asked to stand as Vijay would, would administer the party's pledge to his uh, key core leadership who have gathered here now. The pledge for a country's freedom, for the people, for the rights of our people, from the Tamil soil. He is paying tributes to the countless number of people who lost lives, gave their life a sacrifice for the country. To protect our mother Tamil, he pays tributes for those who had laid their lives for the Tamil language. They have full faith in the constitution of India and India's integrity, brotherhood, communal harmony, equality, protect and function as responsible individuals. People's rule, secularism, social justice. We will walk in this direction, in this path. Forever, we would be discharging our responsibility as people who serve the people. We will remove the differences in the name of caste, creed. We will raise awareness among the people. Work to give equal opportunity, equal rights to everyone. We will struggle to achieve this. All lives are equal. We will follow that principle. We take pledge wholeheartedly. So Vijay can now be expected to introduce the party's flag and then step outside to hoist the party's flag. We are ready to have a look at the party's flag. It will be interesting to see the color, whether he has drawn inspiration from the Dravidian parties in the state. Pirapakum, Yella, Virkum, and the Samatu of Polyan, Kari Piripa in Jay, Ulamara, Uri Muriachi, Anivarkum, Nandri. 
அடுத்து உலகெங்கும் வாழும் தமிழ் நெஞ்சங்கள் பெரும் ஆவலுடன் எதிர்பார்த்து காத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கும் தமிழ் வெற்றிக் கழகத்தின் வெற்றி கொடியை நமது தலைவர் அவர்கள் அறிமுகப்படுத்தவுள்ளார் கொடிக்கம்பத்தில் தமிழக வெற்றிக் கழகத்தின் வெற்றி கொடியை தலைவர் அவர்கள் ஏற்றி வைக்க உள்ளார் வெற்றி <laughs> through the speech as he unveils the party's flag and hoist it with the party's uh, thing. Here it is, the flag is kind of maroon in colour with a yellow line in between. The pictures of elephant on either side and there is also a logo in between. What appears to be a uh, uh, flower with many strands of lights. We have to wait for him to say what would be the meaning of this logo but the broader description would be it's a two colored flag maroon with yellow in the middle two elephants two tuskers on either side of a peacock what appears to be a peacock fully uh, opening its uh, feathers yes it's a peacock and uh, now we can expect Vijay to step out to hoist the flag and then perhaps he's going to come back and make that speech explaining uh, the flag and the anthem remember he's also expected to launch the anthem so we can expect the anthem to be played and vijay as we speak is walking to that uh, podium to hoist the party's uh, flag the newly launched flag a double colored flag with maroon on the top and the bottom with the yellow color in between with two elephants on either side with the peacock the national bird in between them the party's name is tamilaga vetri kalagam tvk and vijay unveiling that plaque and is all set to hoist that party's flag he just administered a pledge to his uh, core leadership of the party headquarters As we speak, he is hoisting the party's newly launched flag. This is party cadre cheer on the other side. This uh, party's headquarters is on the East Coast Road, the East Coast Road, closer to Mamalapuram, on the way to Mamalapuram. And uh, Ajay hoisting his party's flag of TVK. a significant development in Tamil Nadu's political landscape and uh, if Vijay contests in the 2026 assembly elections in the t- in the state the state could witness a five cornered contest besides the two Dravidian arch rivals the ruling DMK and the AIA DMK the BJP is also likely to contest alone now TVK we also have director Seeman's Nam Tamil Kachal ready fighting alone over the last several elections so it could be a five corner contest whether which i will fight alone or would he join or rope in any other parties as an ally as uh, as allies that's something we'll have to wait and see but there could be some indications in the speech is expected to make in a few moments from now a clear view of the flag now two colored flag maroon on the top and the bottom with an yellow band in between two elephants on either side and a picture of the peacock surrounded by stars in the middle flower petals enna 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 seri enna poon kuriya ana flower da sir vaagai ha vaagai 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 sir vaagai poo vaagai poo வாகைப்பூ 
to be a popular flower from the ancient Tamil history used during the wars. I think the more clarity once. Right.